let's talk about the objectives. What are we going to cover? And at the end of the course, we will meet this. So first, the overall idea is to understand the importance of unit operations in the chemical industry. Why do we use them? Why do we assign them? Why we choose to separate them? And what are the important aspects of this? Also, identify relevant unit operations in process flow diagrams. If I give you this process flow diagram, you should, at the end of the course, identify the important unit operations, what they are used for, are they momentum, or are they exchanging heat, are they doing a reactor operation, etc. Also, get to know the basic concepts behind the unit operations. Not only that you tell me this is a pump, you should be able to tell me the pump does this, it works with work and it uses electricity, it, you, there are certain amounts or types of pumping systems, etc. Recognize typical equipment and how to design and operate them. So once I talk about maybe this is a flash drum or right here this is a tank reactor, this one right here, then you should be able to recognize it and say, yes, yeah, this is a tank reactor, this is the inlet, the outlet, you should have a steerer, this is maybe the motor, etc. We're going to cover the famous pressure changers, which we already saw before, which the most important ones, pumping, piping, and compressing. Of course, we're going to cover more, but these are the most relevant for momentum transfer. Heat exchangers, we do that as well, heaters, coolers, condensers, and boilers. Then we continue with mass transfer or separation processes. Most important, flashing, distillation, absorption, fractionation columns, extraction are the most common. I want you to be able to go to a refinery and say, this is the distillation column, this is fractionation, this is the cracker, this is a reactor, and so on. And also we cover the different type of reactors. Batch reactor, the difference between batch and tank reactors, how do we model them, what are the advantages, and so on. So at the end of the course, you should be able to, one, understand unit operations, identify them, and know how they are operated. And number two, be able to detect them if you see them in a real life picture, or for example, this one right here, this one right here, at least know that this is a storage tank this is a maybe a tank reactor, this is distillation column, this is the pump, the compressor, and so on. This will definitely help you not only to understand uh, chemical plants, but also to start uh, modeling unit operations.